going on Megan here so this video is on HSP training the questions I get the most is what are the best exercises for uh, for the program right and again I'm gonna go into the details when the book comes out but for now just focus on what I've listed in the comments what I've listed in prior videos right focus on the top two exercises for um, for each each type of uh, for each letter HSP right so heavy stress pump so for heavy, again, keep it simple. You're going to hear me repeat this over and over again. Keep it extremely simple. You guys know I'm all about the Pareto principle. I'm all about finding the, the you know, the one out of five, right? For every five things, one will give you 80% of the results, right? So always look, you know, at the the best of the best and pick the one that's going to give you the, you know, the biggest bang for your buck, right? It's all about efficiency. So um, don't overcomplicate it. Don't do too many exercises. I recommend no more than two exercises per per type of movement. So no more than two for heavy, no more than two for stretch, no more than two for pump, right? And when I say two, you don't have to do all those two in the same workout. I always, you know, advise to rotate, right? So if you choose, for example, for heavy and chest and you choose bench press and weighted dips, you don't have to do them all in the same workout. You could rotate. So... I'm, I'm assuming you're training more than fucking, you know, once a week by now. So let's say, you know, you're doing um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday split, right? Full body every other day or push, pull, whatever. Just make sure that on Monday you're probably doing, you know, if you chose benching and weighted dips, you could do the benching on Monday. You could do the weighted dips on Wednesday, you know, and then you could keep rotating. Or you could just do the benching, you know, uh, for the entire, you know, four-week program. And then the next time, go to weighted dips and rotate. You know what I mean? So it's all up to you. It's all up to you. You know, there's no one way. It depends on the person. Um, but just try not to do it all in the same workout. Because, again, to increase frequency, you have to decrease volume per uh, training session. So if you try to do everything all at once, you, you, you're going to be in there for too fucking long. And Which is fine as long as you can recover from it. The problem is most people don't eat enough and sleep enough and hydrate enough to recover from two, three hour workouts, you know, so I always tell people train based on your ability to recover. Now what's, don't train based on what's optimal. People ask me, is it better to train 30 minutes, one hour, two hours? It all depends. If you know you're not able to sleep enough and recover from a two hour workout, don't do a two hour workout, you know, but if you know that 30 minutes is, is, is you know, is, is your set point, then go ahead and follow that. So anyway, back to answering the, uh, the main question. So the best exercises, chest, again, for the heavy you know, the heavy part of HSP training, keep it basic, heavy benching, right? Um, heavy barbell pressing or, you know, you could do have a, you could do heavy dumbbell presses, but the problem with that is the heavier you go, the more you increase your risk of injury, you know, bringing the weight up. And I can't tell you how many times people, you know, fuck their shoulders up just trying to bring the weight up, you know, as it gets heavier and heavier. So just focus on barbell or Smith machine, whatever, based on your injuries. Um, uh, now, if you're trying to bring up your upper chest, then it'll be incline, obviously. If you're trying to bring up your lower chest, then it'll be decline. So that's that's the first exercise for uh, that I recommend for the heavy part of um, HSP training for chest. Second is obviously weighted dips. Weighted dips are king. You know, I, I would I was I was gonna put weighted dips first. Problem is, a lot of people have shoulder injuries, and you know that if you're not careful with weighted dips, and you know you really suck at balancing your weight, and you go too heavy, you're gonna have a problem. You know, so that's why I didn't put it first in terms of the heavy, you know, component. So benching and uh, weighted this with chest for for lats, back width, right? Um, I recommend uh, obviously weighted chins, but you could also use that for stretch. You could also use that for the stretching component. Uh, but you know, again, uh, I, I was telling the subscriber the other day, you you don't have some body parts will allow you to combine the heavy and the stretching exercise. You know what I mean? So somebody, somebody puts like back or traps, you know, allow you to, you know, your heavy exercise is probably going to be the same one as your stretching exercise. So if you could do that, by all means, go ahead and combine it. For example, rack pulls for traps serves as both the the best heavy exercise and the best stretching exercise. You know what I mean? So you really got to tweak it up and be very flexible. That's why I love it. Just be training because it's very flexible. You know, so anyway, so yeah, back, I recommend, um, uh, you know, weighted, weighted chins. In terms of width, uh, I recommend um, the second one is uh, I don't I don't I don't like putting pull downs in a, in a, you know in the heavy category for for various reasons, but really weighted chins. You know, for this one you're not gonna get two. You know, you're just gonna get one weighted chins. 
for width. I can't tell you how many people have gotten wide ass backs, you know, doing leg chains. So that's it for back. Um, for uh, biceps, heavy for biceps again, weighted chins. You know, weighted chins uh, activate your biceps more than any curling movement out there. So if you can't do weighted chins, then go ahead to obviously barbell curls, barbell curls, or hammer curls. You know, are great for the heavy part of HSP training for biceps. So triceps again, dips. You know, you want to make sure your exercises that overlap because you know, again, you increase efficiency. So dips come in, number one, in terms of heavy, you know, for triceps. Uh, second is obviously, you know, um, overhead extent. Well, no, that's for the stretch. Second would be uh, close grip bench press. You know, anything where you're, you know, obviously it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit your upper chest a lot too. But uh, you're really going to be able to maximize the weight, you know, especially if you're doing like a flow press variation or things like that. For shoulders, heavy for shoulders, again, military press standing. That's so where you could really pile on the weight, and as you reach failure, you can kind of cheat, you know, use your legs, some kind of momentum to bring it up, you know, or overhead press, whatever. The second would be obviously behind the neck press, you know, heavy behind the neck press on the Smith machine. I recommend on the Smith machine because you're going to, you know, you know, wait till you, your form is really good before you do it free weights. Obviously, it's best to do it with the free weights, but again, the, you know, the risk of injury, you know, and remember, you know, remember, we're trying to focus on heavy exercises for the heavy, you know, portion. Um... Next, next, for legs, again, no introduction, you know, squats or hack squats, uh, you know, even leg press, based on, again, your mechanics, if you have long limbs and things like that, you know, you also, remember guys, there's no generic pro program for everybody, you have to use what works for you, you know, you have to manage around your injuries and things like that, so squats, hack squats or leg press for the heavy portion, if you could do squats, squat, uh, you know, front squats, you can't really go as heavy, but that also works. It's actually my favorite squatting variation, um, especially if you're like me and, you know, your ass is too fucking big, you know, just focus on front squats. Um, for hamstrings, again, that's another example where, you, where the heavy and the stretch, uh, you know, kind of overlap, stiff like deadlifts. Uh, you can't beat that. And um, for calves, again, you know, there's only two. There's, really, there's not much you could do for calves. It's, you know, it's all the same thing, you know, so pretty much. Any heavy calf raises. You could do heavy barbell raises. You could do it on the leg press machine. There's another example where you could also overlap with the stretching component, you know, by doing the the, the leg press thing. Um, what else? What else? Traps, I already mentioned it again. The heavy component is going to be the exact same one as the stretching exercise, which, which is obviously rack pulls. Uh, I've been saying that for years. I'm not going to change my mind anytime soon. Um, if you can't do rack pulls like me, you have back problems. Uh, you snapped your shit up, I would go ahead and, um, man, it's, it's funny because tra traps is the only muscle where the difference in efficiency between the number one exercise and, the, and the, the second best exercise is so fucking vast, you know what I mean? Because rack pulls are just fucking kings. But, you know, find any variation where you're able to maximize the weight, you know, um, you know, you know on your traps. So heavy formal walks would be great also for the stretching component. And uh, I think that's pretty much all the main muscles, you know. Uh, I'm not going to mention the little one like abs and fucking, you know, things like that. Uh, but if I forgot something, let me know. But I hope that gives you an idea of the best HSP heavy exercises. Again, I mentioned chest. Like, oh, back thickness. Now, for back thickness in terms of your mid traps, rhombos, things like that, same thing. Heavy ass rows, right? So heavy... Uh, you could do hammer rolls. I have to do hammer rolls again because of my back. I can't do bend, bend over rolls anymore. I can, but the moment I increase the weight, boom, you know, the back thing, you know, kicks in. So, uh, heavy hammer rolls. If you could do bent over rolls, go right ahead. Uh, that will help you, you know, use a lot of weight when you're reaching failure and using momentum and things like that. I mean, using a lot of momentum when you're approaching failure. And uh, to me, the best one for back thickness is, you know, the hammer roll. You know, because you could focus exclusively on your back without using, you know, too many accessory muscles. And I think that I think that's it. I think that's all the uh, the main all the main muscles as far as the, the the large body parts and also things like arms and shoulders. Anyway, I hope that answers your question in terms of what are the best exercises for the heavy part of um, HSP training. Now, for stretch and pump, I'm going to make that probably in the next video if you guys request it. But uh, that's it. Subscribe if you're new.
comment below, comment your question for the Q and A's. Uh, don't forget to also help out, you know, your fellow subscribers in the comment section. Really appreciate you guys for doing that. Cause again, I get a lot of repeat questions. And um, don't forget to like the video if you fuck with Team 3D. All right, helps the channel grow. I'm out of here. <laughs>